Hello Cowboys Nation! Here's another round of Dallas Cowboys news. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like it for not team. Dak is ready for the playoffs, predicts Cowboys coach. Dallas Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott has had one of the best seasons of his eight-year career, as he tries to lead his team into the postseason playoffs for the fifth time. And his coach, Mike McCarthy, has a prediction. I really like the way he's playing, said McCarthy. I think he's definitely ready for the playoffs. Dak has seen his name mentioned as an MVP candidate due to his winning streak that has seen him lead Dallas to seven wins in eight weeks, but it hasn't all been smooth sailing, of course. But despite being on a two-game losing streak, McCarthy thinks his quarterback has handled everything that's been thrown at him this year. The regular season is clearly different from the playoffs, said McCarthy. But I like the job he's put together. You're going to go through adversity, so it's just a question of when, how much and how it happens to you. I think he's handled it very well. Much of the offseason was dominated by the look of the Cowboys' offense, with McCarthy taking over responsibility from the departed Kellen Moore. Dubbed the Texas Coast offense, McCarthy has installed the principles of the West Coast offense with quick, accurate throws where the time between quarterback and receiver is of great importance to help reduce Dak's league-leading total of 15 interceptions in 2022. Well, it worked, as Prescott has thrown just seven this season, three in a game against the 49ers, while throwing for 30 touchdowns and 3,892 yards. I just went through the first quarter of the season, we started a little slower and once we got going I think he did a great job of really running the system, McCarthy said. We spend a lot of time as an off-season staff setting up our schemes and he has to deal with the changes as far as command of the huddle, the cadence, and that's a constant that grows every week. I really like the way he's playing, I think he's definitely ready for the playoffs. The Cowboys still have two games left in the regular season when they face the Detroit Lions at AT&T Stadium, the next on the calendar. After a loss to Miami, in which the Prescott-led offense wasn't consistent but managed to mount a big drive late to take the lead, this will be Dallas' third playoff-like game in a row. Prescott has played good football this season, but against another contender, he'll have to put on a show for 10-5 Dallas to overcome 11-4 Detroit on Saturday night at AT&T Stadium. If he does, it will be further validation for McCarthy that Dak really is ready for the playoffs. Jerry Jones sees Cowboys legend as potential coach. For now, Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones seems to have his coach Mike McCarthy staying put for a while, but that doesn't mean he can't anticipate a replacement for the future. Although the Detroit Lions and Dan Campbell face his team on Saturday, Jones said he noticed a similarity between Campbell and a Dallas legend. I actually thought the kind of thing we see in Dan is very appropriate for football, Jones told the Dallas Morning News. Every time I look at him, I see Jason Witten, for real. That doesn't appear to be imminent by any means. Jones made it unclear if there were any decisions to be made regarding the head coaching job about an extension, or lack thereof, that would take place in the offseason. He was hired just days after retiring from the NFL after 17 seasons, 16 of them with the Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys have a glaring hole in their offense. Here's the Dallas Cowboys' most glaring hole in their offense ahead of the NFL playoffs and how it could cause an injury. The same problems are plaguing the Dallas Cowboys and factors like this will unfortunately continue to haunt them in time for the playoffs. It's becoming a predictable trend every year from what Cowboys fans see. Make no mistake, Dallas has all the right seasoning in Dak Prescott, C.D. Lamb and other key players to get where they need to be. The only question is what they can do if the attack declines on a daily basis with the magnitude of the injuries that occur frequently. It's like a bad nightmare waiting to happen to wake you up. It's 2022 all over again and this lesson is something Dallas can't seem to grasp. The glaring flaw in the Cowboys' attack? The offensive line. It's starting to look like it's going to break and, unfortunately, there's nothing they can do about it. The Cowboys recently activated a new offensive tackle on their roster to cover up the injury. The Dallas Cowboys attack has a glaring hole. The Cowboys offensive line continues to have negative effects. Here we go again, Cowboys fans, the team is slowly declining while it looks like the offense has a bright future. 
That's no longer the case, which is disappointing for a team that had high hopes for the upcoming postseason. Dallas addressed most of the problems in the last NFL draft, but left one thing out of focus, the construction of its offensive line. That's probably why Tony Pollard isn't having much productivity this season and Prescott hasn't been able to get much time in the pocket. The offensive line is the obvious answer and key players like them and Lamb are paying the price for it. It wouldn't make sense for the coaching staff and management to let this become another problem again, right? Unfortunately, Dallas didn't realize the problem after drafting Motsi Smith in the previous draft. They thought they could be solid with Tyron Smith, again, and Terrence Steele recovering from his catastrophic knee injury. Dallas thought wrong and should have stepped in by signing a veteran to complement the offensive line. The offensive line is what makes this team run, so any star that goes down will have a negative impact on the team. It only got worse after the line suffered another blow. The Cowboys are clearly underwater with all these problems at play, but close your eyes, it's only getting worse. Shuma Adobe is added to the injury report after being Smith's replacement in backup. So now that both are injured, the team has had to go back to the drawing board to pick up one of the players from the training squad. It doesn't matter if he returns from injury, the way he plays won't be the same. It's worrying for the left tackle position, where they'd like to prevent talented edge rushers from coming in and using that as an advantage. However, that could be a major concern, as they could use an additional tight end like Jake Ferguson on the field to block. The Cowboys have that option but mostly it should only be utilized on a few plays and not for the majority of the game. In any case, Dallas seriously needs to address these issues during the offseason, regardless of the outcome of what happens. Expectations for the Dallas Cowboys offensive line The line is bound to break down, but the offense could be fine if that happens, only if they change their playbook. Dallas can be tricky in their plays and make quick passes, they have speed in Brandon Cooks and Lamb. It wouldn't be a problem since they have a safety in Ferguson. It's something to watch when the playoffs start, where it's all about the marbles. If Dallas faces an opponent with a strong defense, that could be a problem, even if they have their starting offensive line on the field. If Smith and Adoga are rested, they'll still be battling the injury they recovered from. You never know, with the Cowboys, injuries are the biggest thing holding this team back from becoming a dominant contender. Cowboys bring a poor Week 17 record into today's game. The NFL didn't start regularly scheduling Week 17 games until the 1990 season. However, the 1982 schedule had a 17th week added due to the strike. Even though the teams only played 9 games that season. Needless to say, the total of 34 Week 17 games the Cowboys have played have not been so kind to Dallas, especially lately. The Cowboys come into today's game against the Lions with a 13-21 overall record in Week 17 games. They're 7-5 at home and a dismal 6-16 on the road. At least today's game is at home. Dallas won last year's Week 17 game in Tennessee, but lost at home to Arizona in 2021. The first Week 17 game in 1982 was in Minnesota and ended in a 31-27 Vikings victory. Dallas would go on to the NFC Championship game that year, despite a season-ending loss. But that final game set the stage for a record that will never be broken. Tony Dorsett rushed for 99 yards and a touchdown in that game. And he did it with only 10 Cowboys on offense after Ron Springs inexplicably left the field. What did you think of this news? Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any Dallas Cowboys news. Thank you.